Welcome to Education Lifeline. Today, we will be writing compound inequalities given a graph. Now, if you haven't watched our previous videos on compound inequalities, they will be linked in the description below as well as on the top right hand corner of your screen. Please check those videos out before watching this one. So here we have two compound inequalities and it asks us to write the compound inequality shown by each graph. So this first graph has an overlap and we can conclude that it's a graph representing a compound inequality with and. And since the second one does not have any overlap and going in two different directions, um, it'll be a graph of or. So in this first um, graph here, or number line, we have two open circles and everything in the middle. So we have negative eight, which is less than everything here, not less than or equal to, because it's an open circle. And we'll use the variable x. You can choose any variable unless you are given a specific variable to use. And x is also less than negative four. That would be our compound inequality of this graph. We could also write it as negative a is less than x and x is less than negative 4. So we can see, if we wanted to graph this, negative a is less than x and x is less than negative 4, which is values in here. Now the next example, we have an open dot at 1 and an arrow pointing to the left, so values are getting smaller, or x is smaller than 1, or x is less than 1, which is our first inequality. Or we have 4 and an arrow pointing to the right, or greater than, so we have x is greater than 1, or x is greater than 4, and since it's a closed dot, we know it's x is greater than or equal to 4 and that would be our compound inequality of this number line right here. If this video was helpful please drop a like and subscribe to Education Lifeline. Be sure to watch our previous videos and check the description below for other helpful resources. Thanks for watching.